Good evening, campers. Welcome to Austin, Nevada. It's late. <laughs> it's late. We're on a road with a lot of tight, twisty turns. This is the chain-up area. That's Grass Valley Road off to the right. We're on U.S. Highway 50, the loneliest road in America. So far has held true. We haven't seen too much traffic. We had a couple, but they both, uh, they both passed me by. And uh, I thought I was recording and wasn't. So uh, we are recording again. Hopefully it will stay recording this time because we're in the interesting part now. <laughs> a bunch of super narrow turns as we approach, uh, as we work our way through Austin towards Nevada Highway 305, which will take us up to Winnemucca. We're still on the load from Phoenix to Portland. Uh, apologies for the, the bug splat that is like dead center in the road on in front of the camera from the looks of the perspective but I mean the, the, I, I did wiper fluid and that got most of him off so he might just be like a little smudge at this point Ooh, that turn looks tighter than it looks this turn's real tight We're about 35 right now hazard lights are on you can probably hear them tick tock tick tock in the background I'm sure of it actually and we also have our high beams on, not that it's helping much, because this is a pretty steep hill, so they're just kind of pointed straight into the ground. But this is, uh, this is the same road that we drove in the video, The Loneliest Road in America, but I did not know this insanely tight... Whoa, wow, this is really tight. Hopefully no oncoming traffic, as my trailer is all over that other lane. Um, <laughs> we're actually really far forward in the, uh, in our setup right now. Like, we're California legal if we want to be, and that still, my trailer's still off track with the oncoming lane there. Wow, that was tight. <laughs> the last time I did this, it was, uh, in that video, or it was in that day. It didn't make it into the video. Oh, oncoming traffic. Good, we're going to meet him on the street. Yes. You pass me. Go the opposite direction. Goodbye. Watch him in the mirror. Just make sure he doesn't like roll off the road or something because he was awfully close to the shoulder. Oh, God. This is tight. Let's go a little bit in the oncoming just to keep our trailer out of that ditch. Yeah, yeah, I know. Don't mind it. There we go. We're good. The bright side of doing this in the middle of the night is I will see headlights before someone comes around the corner, so I can, on any of these super tight turns, I can, like, slow down or get to the shoulder, I guess. What, what little shoulder there is, I can use it to my advantage. It wouldn't be the end of the world if we do drop the trailer onto the dirt a little bit. I just looked at what's ahead of me, and this is not going to get better. Not yet. <laughs> this is actually about to get worse. Oh my gosh. Oh man. Ah. Y'all buckle up. <laughs> buckle up. Brake check area. Half mile. Oh joy. Oh joy. We're good. I just checked my brakes before I did this whole thing. We have not been using them on the climb. I checked them back on the last highway. We're good. We're good. They're not mandatory in Nevada. We are going to avoid using our brakes entirely. I'm not even sure I fit in the brake check area on this road, to be honest. This is a road built long before. Uh, Alright, Austin Summit, elevation 7,484 feet. Next three miles, 30 mile an hour for trucks. Actually, yeah, it's a pretty good brake check area there. God. No, that's not the brake check area. This is the brake check area. It's still pretty small. It's also tilted downhill. I don't like that. You need a pretty level spot to do a proper brake check. This is not low. We're doing about 25 right now. That's actually... That's not... Whoop, there we go. We are setting our cruise control for 27 mile an hour because the advised turn speed was 30. Yeah, yeah, I know. Rumble, rumble, 
rumble. He's very upset at me. Not there's nothing there. Chill. Truck. Uh, maybe cruise control is not a good idea for this road. Actually, yeah, no, that's a terrible idea. Turn cruise control off. There's too many, too many rock faces. Is that headlights? That is headlights. There's too many rock faces for us to leave cruise control on. It's just going to be slamming the brakes every time we come around the corner. We'll just do manual control. Manual. There we go. We are full control of our shifting and engine brakes now. Let's get our high beams back on. <laughs> This is exciting. Uh, yeah, we can. Welcome back. Sorry for the hiccup in the recording. It just likes likes to stop a little bit. Um, <laughs> there's another brake check area. Wow. All right. There's a seven percent grade coming up. We're good. We still haven't actually touched our service brake at all. We're still descending this entirely on engine braking. Toyabe National Forest. Leaving Toyabe National Forest. All right. basically throwing the engine brakes on every time we come to a sharp curve. Yep, that's good. A little bit of rumblies there. Nothing major. This is a sharp one. The one coming up. Uh, I think I do have traffic coming. Maybe. Uh, Let's pull into this brake check area, let this guy by. Come on, guy, pass me. Thank you. All right. Brakes checked. We definitely stopped. We're good. Let that guy get a little bit further ahead. We didn't even have to, I didn't even shift there. We came to a full stop and I didn't shift. We just like inertia rolled right back onto the road in seventh gear. <laughs> All right, last major turn here and then we're at the bottom. We're here, we're in the city of Austin. It's here. That was why that brake check area was there is because they want to make sure you can slow down before you get to the 25 mile an hour bit. And this last hairpin turn coming into town Nobody coming up the highway, nobody coming up the highway. We can take this entire road. Oh my gosh. This is a little tight for a truck route. So I, I did notice there's a little bit of pavement on the inside of the curve. That would have been all right. Let's turn our hazards off. The speed limit's 25. I don't think anyone's going to be running into the back of me at 25 right now. No one should be surprised to find a truck doing 25 right here. Good gravy. <laughs> that was exciting. Welcome to the city of Austin, Nevada. I'm told extremely scenic. I've never seen it during the day, however, so I do not know. <laughs> it looks lovely from what I can see of it just rolling through town. Full hookups and showers if you've got an RV. Very nice. Still going very steep downhill, by the way. And we've got a turn in two miles on the other side of town, I'm guessing. <laughs> that road was something else, wasn't it? Oh, love hairpin turns. 
I'm really glad we did this in the middle of the night. I just went to turn off my high beams. They were already off because we still got that dude ahead of us. Yay, pre-planning. Also watching out for pedestrians. This seems to be like a heavy camping area. A museum! I love museums. There's no truck parking here, though. I mean, I guess maybe I could just pull over on the side of the road if I come here during the day when the museum's open. Maybe, but I assume there will also be cars on the side of the road should I come here during the day. That's their ambulance right there. That pickup truck with the with the cap thing on the back. Like a camper for a pickup bed, but it was an ambulance. <laughs> is what that was. That's how rural we are right now. There's the fire department on the left. That's an adorable fire station. Some classic old fire trucks in there from the looks of it. This town. This is a cute town. A little dirt bike. The Owl Club. That's the late night spot right there. I got that one customer in the dirt bike. We're, st we're still full engine brakes through this town. I feel. I would feel bad if my engine brakes were not muffled, but thankfully they are, so nobody outside the truck can hear them. At least not unless they're like listening for it on purpose. Okay, higher engine brake. This is steep again. Stokes Castle. All right, my turn is just up ahead. Nevada Highway 50, the loneliest road in America. US 50. It's not Nevada 50. It's US 50. US Highway 50. It goes all the way across the country to like Washington D.C. I think. I think 50 goes into D.C. We've picked it up in Ohio before. Because 60 goes to Richmond and Norfolk. So I think 50 goes to D.C. and I think 40 goes to Philadelphia. Or, no, Atlantic City. Atlantic City, I think, for 40. And then 30 is like Philly and New York City. Where's my turn? 0.3 miles. All right, so I haven't missed it yet. Just rock face right there. I didn't quite realize. This is an interesting road for sure. We haven't touched our throttle or brake this entire video. We've just been coasting downhill using my engine brakes. Let's actually turn manual mode back on, or uh, automatic mode back on because we're about to make a turn. I'm gonna forget to downshift because I've been spoiled by this automatic. All right, right turn, Battle Mountain. Where's my turn? Uh, let's just turn on my signal. There's my turn. Anybody coming? No. Gosh, that was still difficult to stop for. <laughs> Overnight parking prohibited in the chain removal area. That was really difficult to slow down for. That was still very steep road. Is that guy turning behind me? No? Um, I don't know where he went. I think he just, like, stopped. All right. Battle Mountain, 90 miles. <sighs> this road, however, looks straight as an arrow, so thank you guys for joining me through the city of Austin, Nevada. That was a lot of fun. Uh, <laughs> definitely a road you should check out if you're ever in this area in a car, just, like, doing some, like, adventuring out in Nevada worth the trip. We're still going kind of fast here. Let's not do that. Hey, slow down, buddy. This is still very much downhill. The speed limit was 45 on the road we just got off of, but I don't know if it is on this road. Oh, there's a speed limit sign coming up. I think it says 70. Oh, so there's a car. Yeah, it says 70. Cool. We're good. All right, speed up, buddy. That was exciting. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope if you are out in this part of Nevada, you check out the city of Austin just to drive that awesome road for yourself, ideally without a 53-foot trailer behind you. But hey, if you got one, go for it. It's fine. Um, I think you could probably, like California legal, I think you can do all those turns without using the oncoming road. I was just being a little overcautious there. Come on, man, high beams. Jeez, dude. <laughs> All right. <laughs> I'm blind. Uh, yeah. So anyway, 
Thank you guys so much for watching. My name is Elio Dare. You can find me on the internet at Elio Dare on Twitter, Xbox Live, Steam, Facebook. Uh, not Facebook, actually. Um, I don't accept random friend requests on Facebook because Facebook is a terrible place and I'm not there very often. But Twitter! Twitter is also a terrible place, but I am there all the time. Come say hello on the Twitters at Elio Dare. I check it like literally every time I park the truck. Uh, so, yeah, thank you guys so much for watching once again. I've said it like four times in this outro already. Have a great day. Oh, wait. I was just on a podcast. I should talk about that. <laughs> uh, pod therapy. Uh, great podcast. A couple of therapists. I sat in on the episodes they recorded this morning. No idea when they're coming out, so just kind of keep an eye out for them. We did two. I was, I was there for two of them. I was only like a major part of one of them. But I was, I was present in the room for a bunch of the second one, and then I had to get up and leave because we had to do this, because this is how I make money. Uh, so definitely check out that podcast and see if you can't figure out which one I'm in. I suspect the title will be something that, uh, something that includes my personality in it. But uh, also, it's not going to be like new territory for anyone who watches the channel. It's all stuff I've talked about before, uh, but. You know, it's in a new context and kind of all bundled together and just like a let's talk to these mental health professionals about some of the struggles of being a transgender truck driver in modern America and um, what that entails. And it, I think it turned out really great. So check it out. <laughs> that is Pod Therapy. And it's two Vegas therapists that do a, a podcast about mental health. And it's very good. And I like them and I give them money every month because Patreon is lovely like that and allows for that sort of thing because I think they're doing really good work. And uh, yeah, go check it out. Thank you guys so much for watching for the fifth time. Have...